You knew these two teams would meet again after Spack and Kill surprised Rhinebeck and broke up their perfect record. The question was, how badly was the number nine ranked team in the state hurt and were they carrying a grudge? If they weren't, you could have fooled me. Five minutes into this contest off the corner kick, Ian Katomsky breaks the ice and gets Rhinebeck on the board by threading the needle with this rebound. Wow, that deserves another look. Katomsky kicks it through three defenders untouched. Rhinebeck is on the board. The Hawks took a two goal lead off another corner kick the other way when Corey Hutchins heads this one in and Rhinebeck led 2-0 in the first half. Spack and Gill had a few chances, none better than this free kick. Chris Stamper shoots it from 40 yards out, but Jackson Pavlakis is there with a steady save. Second half, Rhinebeck takes a three-goal lead when Seth McClanahan comes out of nowhere and takes charge of a ball no one else seemed to want. He puts the biscuit in the basket six minutes into the second half, and it's looking good for the Hawks. But the Spartans were determined not to get shut out. Cameron Stamper takes on three defenders and puts his stamp on this ball. It's 3-1 late in the second half. But if there was ever a sign that Rhinebeck wanted to make a statement, this was it. 46 seconds later, Rhinebeck is knocking on the door. Off the rebound, Katomsky goes and gets it, and Nick Hoynes makes the deposit. You can take this one to the bank as Rhinebeck is going to the Mahal Championship Thursday night with a 4-1 win over Spack McGill. Last, I would say the, the game we went into last time, maybe we weren't as focused as much, but this, this game we knew that they beat us last time, they, they beat us, and it was a tough game, but um, we won a redemption this time, so we came out harder than we ever have and got the work done. We, we came out and really wanted to defend, um, defend as a team, which, which I thought we did pretty well, um, but the, uh, the two first goals were, were really key for us. Uh, I, I think it certainly um, set the tone for us, um, gave the guys a little bit of energy to, to kind of fall back on, and um, you know, it, 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 it was uplifting for us. Uh, I thought the second half was much better for us. We moved the ball better. Uh, we put pressure on them, which at times they didn't, you know, didn't seem to react well to it. So we, uh, it's, uh, it was a learning experience for us today.